Hello there. Um, you'd think this is be a bit of a boring picture, but actually sometimes I like a really straightforward, simple image. And this is a very simple, really. It's a star with a planetary ring around it, an asteroid belt around it. And you're looking at the star through the dust clouds of the belt. This is uh, by Commander Rini, and, and Rini looks like she's um, stopped in the belt that's orbiting the star to take the photo. I, I love the way some of the, the star is obscured by rocks, really sharp contrast, and then some of the rocks are lit by the star, and some of the star is, is obscured by this, this cloud, which itself is, is pale because of the star lighting it. Uh, and also some of the rocks are casting their own shadow. And because the rocks are orbiting the star, that means that the shadows form rays. So you see these sun rays coming out, um, giving the most amazing variations in colour to this light. And it's one of my favourite things to do, is to do subtle variations in colour and th to pick out all the different tones of beige. I just loved it. It was great. <laughs> it was grey <laughs> and I like that the kind of you've got this almost like fawny tawny velvety fox colours in there as well where the, the darkness of space behind is visible through this cloud and the emanating light from the star I'm slowly I think I'm getting better at showing how bright the star is because there's only so much white you can put on a picture and so you have to sort of work back from that with this off-white and slightly yellowish colours and then obviously then use the rest of the background to create the contrast that makes the star look bright. It's lovely learning to do it a bit better every time. I, I, I feel like I'm getting better at this. I'm pleased with this picture. I did it for the Burr Pit for their convention that they're having and uh, I'll do a couple more. Yeah, I really enjoyed this one, and, and thank you for listening to me going on about it. Bye.